Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Silver 1999. In the last episode we entered Metalon for the first time and we need to now carry on exploring it as we have a lot to do and a lot to find. So in this episode we're gonna carry on with Metalon and see how far we can get. Let us see. There we go, that's... oh god, that's amazing. I love when Chiaro has enough... Chiaro has enough uh, MP for stuff. We need to go up this ladder, yeah, up these stairs, rather, and then we'll eventually come down to that place. I never understood when I was a kid that that over there was supposed to be in a different plane altogether. Yep, up there, up there, up there, up there, up there. Even though it only deals like, a couple of points of damage, basically. Chiaro? Chiaro? What are you doing? Uh, like the rod is full, so you don't need to... Oh, right, I don't have Chiaro. <laughs> Sorry. I was trying to control Chiaro while I, while I had David. Oh. Okay then. That worked. Now if I'm not mistaken, we need to put the Analectus here. Thank you, Charo. That's brilliant. That will open up a portal over here that we need to go through. Thankfully, quite handy, these portals deal uh, are good for three people. At least for now, because eventually we'll be able to deus ex machina out of this place. Hopefully, if we get there. Oof. Oh. God, what's that? It looks like the tyrant in Resident Evil 1. Like inside that tube and all. Ugh. Ah, this is where we use the Analectus. And the Analectus will just open up this space over here, look. I actually thought it came from here. Oh, I didn't like that noise. Let's heal. Tell me of your... I'll tell you of my deed. Indeed I will. Now, we're about to fight a boss, and uh, just a pro tip, you might not want to get Armageddon. Yeah, it's this is going to be an issue. This is not good. This is not good. Oh. I don't mean to slag off the, the, the actors, because they did a brilliant job, but this one was not amazing. Uh, I... yeah, I think you might want to equip... Light? Maybe light works. I'll try that. If not, I have an idea on how to deal with the boss. Oh, here we go. Yet another boss, not the final boss for sure, but yet another boss, and it's another uh, hack and slash boss. But this time, it's a bit easier. Well, it's a bit easier. It's a bit more difficult. Oh, right. You don't deal any damage, do you? Oh, you do deal damage. Okay. You just need to run away from him and attack him while he is not uh, in his right place, basically. But this is a hack and slash boss. We can deal with it very kindly and deal with him fine. Or we can do something like this. David, there you go. Just release the golem. I could um, get myself into a lycanthrope, but you know what? Let's show it off. Let's do lycanthrope. He's gonna run. There we go. I am now a Lycan, and I can attack, and I deal a lot of damage. See? Just makes my life so much easier. It's basically the easy mode of this game. There we go! We get to level up! Woohoo! Sorry if I can't make a lot of noise. I'm, I'm actually, I think I'm actually Hello. making a lot of noise, but I'm trying to keep it a bit, you know, tidy. Because it's like... Half 2 a.m. <laughs> uh. 
good stuff. So if I'm not wrong, yes, we're getting really close to uh, Silver's Castle. So the final part of the final part of the game. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. Oh, we have more people to fight. No, I need, I need David and I need to set him up with stuff and just, uh, yeah. That's cool. Um, and if I'm not mistaken... Yeah, here we go! Right, are you all ready for this? Silver's Castle. Oh god, yeah, I remember you. Arr, 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 arr. Uh, yeah, of course you're at the wrong place. Turning to the wrong place. Okay, I'm gonna use Chiaro now. Uh, because we gotta level up and we can use magic again. I'm just gonna keep on using... Oh, we deal a lot of damage. Oh, we deal a lot of damage. Chiaro, you are now overpowered, mate. You're dealing too much damage. I like Acid because it has the three um, shots and they can kind of go around. Good, can we go on? We can go... No, we can't. We still have more enemies. My god, how many can we fit? We are dealing a lot of damage and we potentially have to kind of use the magic potions as quickly as possible. Ooh, yeah, these guys, they deal some damage as well. Chiara now is under four digits when it comes to magic. Uh, why am I not dealing any damage to him? There we go. I'm gonna use the, uh, the lightning now, lightning magic. Aha, I remember this. We're gonna need that key, but in order to get that key, we need to do this first, and uh, we need to kill these guys. Oh, I remember, because level 3 does this. There you go. Basically, if level 3 uh, thunder magic hits, uh, basically goes through a target, it will hit every target in its way. Uh, but I have no magic anymore. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Just deal damage with the glaive, with anything really. Boom. Uh, yeah, the other guys can deal with it. I just need to focus on this acid guy. There we go. No, there we not go. Damn it. How are you still alive? Ah, fudge stickles. There we go. The glaive dealt with it after a while. Oof. These are getting more and more difficult as they go. So let's just grab a pie and open up this. We could go this way or this way. This way I think is the right way to go. So let's go this way. And we don't have a key for this and we still want a key for that. I think. Ah uh, yeah, this is a long room but it will make sense at the end of it. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Uh, I might want to take... Yeah, I might want to take David on this one and let Chiaro just in the background. Yeah, there we go. Good stuff. More fights. There will come a point, I think, in this long corridor where we'll have... Uh, magic things. Yep. And for these magic guys, I want to deal with Armageddon Lee. Which means... Mate... There you go. Oh, you only dealt some damage. Sakurai! Oh, that's not what I meant. Chiaro? Chiaro, 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 Chiaro. Just, just uh, have this, and yeah, let's let's carry on. Yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good. We just need to deal with these guys now. Uh, 
Uh, maybe I can get Sukune just to weapon for a second, and just so she can do this. And go back to the Glaive Mate. Thank you. And now I want David. Uh, dang it. At least we have Lycan throw it back if we need it. Still more damage, please. Just throw the Glaive as you can. Yeah, there we go. Deal damage, please. There's still more enemies. This is always a mess to fight. Ooh, uh, David, you might want to eat something. I might want to eat something, but in real life, because I'm kind of starving. But I'm on a diet, so I can't really eat anything. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I remember this. Two of them have enemies, I think. And two of them have something else. Yeah, potions. I'm still to use an absolute protection potion. But I'm kind of piling on on them. We're gonna need some eventually. These are the enemies, but we need them. We need to fight them before we can move on. At least I dealt with the uh, bigger threat first. There we go. Now this will open up. And I... Don't think... Is this where we're supposed to go? Because if it is, I need to go back, because I still some stuff to do in the background. Let's see. Ooh, I remember this. This room is a pain in the bottom. Yeah, this room's a pain in the bottom. This is gonna be hard to deal with. Then again, if I feel too badly damaged. I do remember this room because it gives us this, because we need to deal with enemies that are far away. But now, David, do me a favor, do me a biggie, Lycanthrope. Because you need to be healed, and this is the quickest way to get healed. I'm not even joking. Now, there we go. Yeah, that's a good way to deal with things. David, while you're a lichen, please. Thank you. That's brilliant. Chiaro, that's another brilliant way to deal with things. Now I need to kill you. And this is exactly where we're supposed to go. And I don't want to go to this place yet. Yeah, so it does have splash damage. And we need to kill this guy as well. Also, we need to get the magic cords. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. And David is back to his normal self, so... David, you might want this. And now, David, you might want to do this. See? This is how we deal with crisis scissors. Uh, you might want to also do this. I have lightnings and thunders, the fury for the doctor. Lightnings, thunders, I'm killing stuff. I'm killing stuff. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right. Good. Is this it? I think this is it. Ah. Oh. Good grief. 
more magic potions yes thank you an absolute protection potion we are going to need that and I need to go back because this is getting really really close to the end of the game and I still have stuff to do in the background so I need to go back <laughs> But once again, I'm going to have a bit of a longer episode to kind of prepare us before the end of the game. So, this might be the pre-finale. Oh god, I didn't think I was going to do this so quickly. Yeah, two more potions. Brilliant stuff. Let's go back now. At least we dealt with, with this room, and this room is a big pain in the ass. I'm so hoping that there are no um, respawning enemies. I don't think there are, but just in case. Please let there not be any respawning enemies. Good, so we need to go over to this place. Ah, yes, I remember you. You have a lot of health for some reason. Good stuff. Oh, wow, we are so close to the end of the game. There's a diamond shield. There are more bombs, not that I'm going to use them. I haven't even used the bombs. And there's a key for downstairs, I think. Yeah, there we go. And this key... I have no space for a, a life potion or health potion, so I'm going to use this one. 4,000. Oh my god. I didn't think we had so much health. How does Sukune have so much health? Oh my god. Uh, I underestimated everyone. Good, we're going to have the final cutscene before we move on. <gasps> Look at this, or the final talking scene. I see my execution party have arrived. It didn't take Fuge long to become bored with his favorite prisoner. Fuge is dead, and you can rest assured Silver is our target. As you can see, I am a man of great faith, and I believe in the strength of good over evil. But Silver's power is too potent. He cannot be killed. We have eight mystical orbs. They will help us to combat his magic. Then you must find the origin of his power. Without that, Silver is just a mortal man. The blood that courses beneath Metalon increases his strength, but I'm afraid no one knows the core source of his power. We'll find it! Come on, we have to hurry. Silver will be expecting us, and will no doubt speed up his wedding to avoid uninvited guests. I'm afraid you're badly mistaken. Silver has no intention of marrying any of the women. They were taken for sacrifice. Their deaths will appease Apocalypse, and Silver will finally attain the ultimate power of darkness. No! I'm sorry, but we have to go. So we just knew that he doesn't want to marry the our wives. He wants to kill them as sacrifices. So we really, really, really need to go, and we really need to get this sorted. Silver is a meanie, and I'm just going to put us in the correct position, in the right position, before we uh, go and fight Silver. I am so excited, guys, because tomorrow will be the finale, if everything goes well, of my Let's Play of Silver. And if everything goes really, really well, it will be the first time I have beaten Silver, as far as I know, uh, without dying even once. Now, I know I'm jinxing myself by saying this, but, you know, it might happen. It might happen. It might happen. Now, when we get to the silver fight, yeah, we need to be prepared. It's the biggest fight, we think. We'll see. There's nothing I want to spoil right now. Well, we've been hearing a lot of this apocalypse. He wants to appease apocalypse, so... Let's fight these guys. Oh, well done. Well done, Chiara. That was, that was, that was brilliant. Sorry, just killing these guys. Oh, one. Oh, you don't have any more magic. Just grab these. Are these health potions? I think they are. So I might as well just. Uh, yep. Sukune. 
Never thought I would need to do this, but here we go. Let's waste health potions. Right, we just went over the 20 minute mark. And, if I'm not mistaken... I will have to end the episode here. Please join me tomorrow in what will be the finale episode of Let's Play Silver 1999. I can't believe I just am doing this in two recording sessions. It's just absolutely dumb. But here goes nothing. Thank you very much for watching until now and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.